everyone, I'm Ashley and for this month's bullet journal video I thought I would just do a flip through because one, I didn't have enough time to do the full draw through that I've been doing in the past months because I've got a lot of essays doing things like that but also my designs are pretty much still the same so I just thought it would be quicker to do a flip through rather than drawing the same things all the time. <laughs> And plus with this flip through I'll be able to explain why I do the designs the way I do and if I've changed anything I'll be able to point it out much better than I can while drawing so yeah. So if we open it up to the beginning of my March spreads this is what it looks like. I always do a double page spread to begin each month just because I like having a form of title page and I do tend to have this book theme about it where I write in one big block quote from a book which I usually find on Goodreads. This one is from Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, mainly because I visited the Bronte Parsonage towards the end of February. And also I'm studying Jane Eyre on one of my modules at university, so it's definitely a book that I've heard a lot of lately. Like I said, I do have this sort of book theme where I rip up pages from books and copy quote in. This is last month's and again in January, we've got the quote copied down. And then we turn to my calendar, which is very simple. Pretty much all of my spreads this month are really simple because I didn't have time to do any proper decorating for a while. But I just have squares that are six by six. And I just wrote them on the side and decorated with this sort of branch design of sorts. I'm not really sure what to call it. I always use a double spread for my calendar because I need a lot of space to write. I always write in what videos I've got scheduled in for the month so you can see all my Fridays are taken up for March. And then anything else I've got planned are also jotted in as and when I plan them. Then we turn to the habit tracker. Again, this is the same as before. This is what January's looks like. And then we have February's as well. So that will end up looking the same when I start filling it out. And then on this page, I don't really like how it turned out, but then at the same time, I don't mind either, which is a bit strange, but Basically these are two photos from the Bronte Parsonage when I visited. This one shows a copy of some of Branwell's illustrations that he drew. And this is a picture of some of the original copies of the books that were published under the pseudonyms that the Bronte sisters originally published under. And I basically just stuck the pictures onto some brown paper, stuck them into here and then I did write on the paper in between originally but I didn't like how it turned out so I then just got some more brown paper stuck that over the bit that I didn't like and recopied the quote. And the quote that I copied out is from Anne Bronte and it just says, to represent a bad thing in its least offensive light is doubtless the most agreeable course for a writer of fiction to pursue. But is it the most honest or the safest? And I don't know, there's something I really like about that quote, even though it would probably apply more to writers, but I thought I'd copy that in. And then we just turn to my weekly spreads. I'm currently filming this on the first week, which as you can see is marked off with my bookmark. But this is pretty much the same as I did last month, which is why I'm not doing the draw through all again because it would probably get pretty tiring pretty quickly. The only thing I've changed is that last month I did it so that the week followed the pages. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then go on to the next page. However, this time I've gone across rather than down. But yeah, other than that, all the designs are the same. The only thing that changes is this banner across the top telling me which week of the semester we're in so that I can refer back to my reading schedule that I need. But yes, other than that, it's all the same. I just have scheduled in some of the things that I'm uploading, some of the trips I'm taking, any essays I've got due. But that so far is all I've got planned. So I hope you enjoyed this video, despite it being a little bit different to my past bullet journal ones. As always, I'd love to know if you bullet journal and if you've taken any inspiration from this. I love getting comments from people saying that they like a particular way I do things and they want to try it themselves. But other than that, I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!